Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, you know, today we are going in this time because we promised people who live in Europe to go earlier so they can join us. But as you see, people in Europe, they don't really care. You know, like we don't have too many people waiting. And this is telling us that this is the wrong time for us to be live on air. So those who they are in Europe who keep asking me to come online in a time which is suitable for them, as you see, you guys are not doing a good job. Otherwise, we should have a lot more people here. So in case you like us to be in this time for those who live in Europe, well, you have to bring us people to listen. Otherwise, we will go in the time where we have thousands of people listening. Why want to go online when there is 120 people or 200 people? Uh, just use your common sense logic. Now, today we have a question uh, posted by a Muslim, and we say to him, thank you for posting your question. And uh, I will share the question of this gentleman in the screen, so we can read it together. Um, let us see, <clears throat> what is the question? <laughs> Here we go. So this uh, gentleman here, uh, he presents really for us in his question how the Muslim mentality work, how the Muslims they think, and you know, and they are, as usual, they are copy paste of each other. Nobody even using his brain for a second, and we prove it, you know. So here we have our friend here saying his name is uh, Paulorka. I'm not sure if I'm saying the name correctly. Can any Christian explain this? <laughs> he says, Christians uh, believe the Bible is the word of God and Jesus is the word of God. If the Bible is written by Jesus, uh, is, is sorry, if the Bible is not written by Jesus, uh, but by John, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and Paul, are they the word of God? Do they now replace Jesus as the word of God? The Christian then say that those who wrote the Bible are inspired by the Holy Spirit. Is the Holy Spirit the word of God? Had he replaced Jesus as the word of God? You know, here he noticed that Muhammadan, who, as usual, you know, they are following a man who don't even know himself what the Trinity is. According to the Quran, the Trinity is God. He have sex with Mary and they have a son. His name is Jesus. And now we have a divine family of a three. This is because the God of Muhammad is not exist. And Muhammad, he is an idiot who do not know what Christian believes. Have you ever heard of a God? He says such a thing. Even kids, they knew today that the Christian don't believe in such a thing. So when Muhammad, he come with this mythology which does not exist not by anyone he is a proven to us how ignorant he is about the christians he never met one maybe otherwise how he come with this it's just a stupid and one muslim they try to fix it they say oh muhammad he was speaking about certain sect there's no sect ever exist believe that mary is divine secondly the quran never spoke about any other sect of the christians so the quran call all the christians believe in the same belief not some not two, not 10, not 20. All of them, they believe that Jesus is God. And not only that, all of them, they believe, according to the Quran, that Mary, the mother of Jesus, she is divine. If we go in the Quran, and we will go back to the question after we show some reference, we will find the Quran say very silly stuff. As an example, in one hand, the Quran says, don't say Trinity, but yet the Quran do not know what the Trinity is, as usual. Uh, in the same time, the Quran claimed that the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah. I will take the word here as he is the father. But as you know, the Muslim, they don't believe in such a thing called the father. So surely this in this belief are they uh, who say that Allah is the Messiah. Uh, you know, for sure, we don't believe in Allah anyway. And I know some Muslims, they might say to you in the Arabic Bible translation, they use the word Allah. Well, this is because they are under the false 
uh, uh, the influence of Muslims of 1400 years of occupation. Imagine if ISIS occupy you for one week. You know, what word you can use, what word you can say. So we don't believe in Allah. That's why we're making fun of him. Surely in this belief, those who they say Allah is the Messiah. So if we are the Muslims now, the one who is talking about logic and, you know, if Jesus, according to the Christians, is Allah, so who is the second person and who is the third person? Here you notice right away that the one who wrote the book is an idiot. Uh, in one hand, he said, don't say Trinity. Okay, no problem. And now he is saying that the Christian believed that the Messiah is the same as Allah. So how we believe in three and one in the same time? And if Allah is the Messiah, according to the Christian, you see, the Quran doesn't say some of the Christians. It says, لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْمَسِيحِ they are kuffar, those who say that the Messiah are uh, Allah. All right. And then you will see here, very strange statement, the Quran saying that Allah, he can destroy Jesus and his mother. Okay, what? why you are involved in his mother? Because Muhammad, he think that the Christian believe that Allah, he married from Mary, get married from Mary. They have sex. They went to a honeymoon and they have a baby. His name is Jesus, Isa. And then this is what the Christians believe. And as you see here, the Quran doesn't say some of the Christians. And now Allah suddenly, he is shown us that he is so strong, so he can destroy even Mary and Jesus, which is very harsh statement to say this is stupid. Because why you want to say such a thing if Jesus never said what Muslims keep repeating? They keep saying Jesus never said worship me. And that's what the Quran is saying. So why you are saying I can worship, I destroy him and destroy Mary? And you know, as, as long as you can destroy everyone who claim to be God, why you don't do it? I can say the same. I can say I can destroy Jesus. Hey, Jesus, you are, that's it. You're gone. Talk is cheap. So the response is of the power of Allah is to me that Allah can destroy Jesus and Mary. And what Mary have to do with this? Because, because according to Muhammad and his ignorance, Mary is part of the Trinity. Otherwise, ask yourself why he is mentioning Mary. And here you see, uh, when Allah he says that the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah, then the Trinity is gone because there is no Trinity no more. Okay, who is the second person? Who is a? I challenge Muslims in the chat to tell me who is the second person, and who is the third person. As long as the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah, anyone, any Muslim want to volunteer for us? You see, I'm using the Quran. I'm not using my book, anything. You know, I'm just using the Quran. If the Christian believe the Messiah is Allah, is Allah, you know, the Christian don't believe that the Messiah is the Father. They don't. No Christian believe in that. If there is somebody believe in that, he is no Christian no more. So, when the Quran say a statement, it's a proof to us that not only the followers of Muhammad are ignorant it is explained to us why they are ignorant because Muhammad himself is ignorant and he do not know what the Trinity is and then you will see the verse after it is another proof that Muhammad is an idiot he think that when the Christian they say we are the children of God and here Muhammad using the word Allah they are claiming that they are, they are really children of God So Muhammad, he want to refute the Christian and the Jews when they say we are the children of God and we are his loved ones. Muhammad, he want to get them busted, says to them, so why he punish you for your sin then? Have you ever heard of such a silly, stupid logic? If we are the children of God, does that mean we have a license for sin? Does that mean we have an exception? Like, you know, like uh, go and do whatever you want we are sure this is a very stupid silly argument it's a per it's a it's an answer from a person who do not know how to answer I mean imagine this Edith Muhammad is debating me this is uh, uh, he will he will be the joke of everybody so why Allah punish you Christian Prince for your sin if you are a child of God huh well isn't it Jesus says not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will where in the Bible it says we have a license for sin. 
It is you, Muhammad, who gave license for sin and to yourself and to your followers. Whoever says Shahada will be forgiven by Allah. Allah forgive all sin except shirk. License for sin. Forgive all sin. Not some of the sin. All what Allah required from Muslims is not to commit shirk. Shirk which means associating someone with him. But the, but the when Muslims are mushrikeen. The Muslims they associate the name of Muhammad with Allah. If you go in the city of Quran, uh, you will find all those verses claiming about shirk, which is mean, you know, uh, being uh, uh, not monotheist. Chapter 4, verse number 48. Lu, Allah, forgive not that a partner should be ascribed into him. He forgive all other sin. Then translation is very weird. You know, translation of food. This guy, I think he is using Google translation or something. Uh, let us uh, use another idiot. Uh, Yusuf Ali. Allah forgives not that partner should be set with him. This guy is supposed to is fixing it now. I mean, the Arabic is very simple. Why the Muslim, they are they have a trouble with the English. Inna Allah la yaghfuru. And you should be so Allah he will not forgive those who put partners with him but he forgive anything else so if I'm a Muslim now and I read this what is the what is the message the message is I have a free pass to sin because now I'm Muslim and I don't accept with Allah i.e. any uh, partner that's it I'm good to go. So here you notice that in one hand the Muslim they claim that Christianity, which is a false claim, that we Christians we have a free pass to sin, and now because Jesus he paid for our sin, and the Muslim they go around and they post this. If Jesus died for your sin, so now why you know so you have a license for sin? Well, you know when Christian they say Jesus died because of our sin, because if if not we are sinners, he will not come to this earth. If we are not a drowning, he will not jump in the water to save us. Why somebody want to get his clothes wet and jump in the water if there's nobody is drowning? This is why we call him the Savior. So, very silly argument and very silly God and very silly prophet. And as you see, a clear license to sin. Why in the, while in the Bible, salvation is extremely difficult. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, you can worship Jesus claiming that you are a Christian, but you don't do what Jesus ordered you to do. You don't belong to him. He do not know you. Even if you are a priest, even if you are a bishop, even if you are a person who claim to be serving all your life, serving Jesus, because as long you are not doing the will of the Father, you did not nothing. You just did your own glory. People praise you. People say how wonderful you are. People, they welcome you in homes, like, you know, like the priests in the time of Jesus, the Jews. They have a high positions, people respect them, they have a good salary, they have a nice houses. That is just for their own glory, not for God. And we will find that everything cult leaders, they share together, which is sex and power and money. All of them, they are focusing in Muhammad. In one, one side, the Muslim they say we are not mushrikeen, we don't associate God with anyone. But if you ask them what is the shahada, they say there's no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his prophet. So why you are why are you putting the name of Muhammad next to Allah? What I just ask you, you know, what what being a Muslim have to do with Muhammad? Is Muhammad is God? Are you replacing Allah by Muhammad? Allah he sent 124,000 messenger. Muhammad is just one of them. Why you put the shahada there? And for sure, the Muslim they start adding now, like lately, some like, and I believe that Jesus is a messenger of Allah, and Muhammad is a messenger of Allah, but all of us, we knew the Shahada, is associating the name of Muhammad with the name of Allah. If you remember, there is a hadith, there is a hadith, which is very well known by Muslims, let me find it. Give me a second.
when Adam he committed sin. Adam he committed sin. And Adam he asked Allah to forgive him. If you remember the hadith, hadith is called Lawlaka. Uh, in this hadith, supposedly, uh, here the Muslims are asking question if this hadith is accurate. The answer is yes, it's accurate, it's sahih. And Muhammad, everything Allah created for the sake of Muhammad. So Muhammad is God, not Allah. But Allah is just a person who worked for Muhammad. But look, the important our topic today now is uh, when Adam, he committed sin. Read this story. The Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Look, even Allah He pray on Muhammad. Who is the God? Allah said, When Adam made a mistake and he asked, Oh Allah, I asked you for the sake of Muhammad to for to forgive me. Allah said, Oh Adam, how do you recognize Muhammad when I have not yet created him? Adam said, Oh Allah. When you created me and blow into my spirit, to me, my the spirit, I lifted my head up and I saw written on the arsh, which means the throne, La ilaha illallah Muhammadan Allah. So I got to know that only, read carefully, only, you would only join your name with him who is most beloved to you. Joined. You only joined your name with him. Let me let me zoom in. So those pagan black black stone kissers, they see who is the polytheist. Allah, he joined his name with Muhammad. It's not even Muhammad joined his name with Allah. Do you see it? So what is shirk? Shirk is joining the name of God with the name of anyone, other God or a person. But this is what Islam teach. It's all about Muhammad is the most important figure. Allah is just a servant. And it, they claim that Allah is God. But as you see, Allah himself, well, the first thing he did, he wrote the name of Muhammad in his chair. I mean, this person is in love with Muhammad before Muhammad exists. Do you see what love can do? Like imagine you are in love with your wife, but you never met her yet. You never have her yet. And then you start writing her name on the chair. And then you start saying, there is nobody except me and my wife, but you don't have a wife yet. So what is the secret of this love? This man, Muhammad, he loved himself. He have a lot of ego, ego, and he worship himself. He is God. He is the best. Even his God himself is busy writing his name in the chair, doing graffiti. So when a Muslim, he says, do John and Luke and Mark, etc., replace God. Well, it's you who do that. It is you Muslims who do that. Not only this, the Quran says something. Muhammad say the opposite. What Muslim follow? They follow the, what Muhammad say, not what the Quran say. And what is the excuse? The excuse that Muhammad is a messenger of God. So what? If Allah says something, then Muhammad should not say the opposite because he is just a messenger. How you can abolish the law by a messenger? And in this story here, you will see that the first line it says, is it true that the prophet said if not me, Allah created nothing. Is it true? If not you, Muhammad, oh Muhammad, I would not have created the creation. So why the creation is exist? Because of Muhammad. And then we ask ourselves then, is that why Allah is exist? Because as you see, all the creations have one purpose. It's just Muhammad. Even the frog, walk, walk, and the duck, walk, walk, and the chicken, pop, 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 all of them, they are created for the sake of Muhammad. The devil himself created for Muhammad. Everything you have, the zucchini you have, 
the cucumber created for the sake of Muhammad. All the creation was made for Muhammad. And then we ask ourselves, so Allah himself, he have only one purpose of his existence, is to serve Muhammad. This God, even when he made a chair, he did not make a chair for himself. He made a chair so Muhammad's name will be there. Read with me carefully. It says here, this is the Muslim answer, not mine. Uh, it says here the answer, indeed the Prophet of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the reason for the creation of Adam alayhi salam and the universe. If the Prophet of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi, they can't even say his name without adding Sallallahu pray on him and salute him, was not in existence, then Allah, Arsh, the Arsh, the throne of Allah, the chair of Allah, the Lawh of Allah, Lawh mean uh, a tablet, uh, uh, Qalam, which means the pen, I mean all the furniture of Allah will not be exist. The sky, the earth, the heaven, the hell, the trees, the stones, all other creatures would not exist. So who is this guy, Muhammad? When a Muslim is asking a question, how a messenger, disciple of Jesus, they, are they allowed to be replaced? Are they replacing Jesus? Are they replacing the word of God? Are they replacing God? A Muslim asking such a question here you see how big the hole in the narrative the Muslims they forgot that their Quran is the biggest hole in the world and the Muslim because they are blind when they want and they have eyes when they want they go blind in their stupid book which is nothing but a chain of stupidity and we prove it every day and now they are questioning how those people they wrote the Bible I mean they are just disciples but who is the one who wrote the Quran I will go with you with your logic who is a Muslim can tell me who wrote the Quran Any Muslim? Do we have any Muhammadan? Come on, Muhammadan, I need answers. You know, I don't have time. I have a black stone to go and kiss. The black stone, which is the right hand of Allah. And the funny, those people, they insult everybody. They call them pagan. When this religion is the biggest pagan religion ever. Black stone kissers, they pull in front of it, they go around it and they touch it. And even Muhammad, he says, those who touch the black stone and the Yemeni corner, Allah, that, sorry, the stone and the Yemeni corner erase their sin. Have you ever heard of a stone erase sin? And do you see how easy to wipe out your sin in Islam? Just touch the stone. That, this is not the stone, this is my butt. Sorry. Hey, dog, don't, the dog. The dog, he he wanna he want his sin to be forgiven, and he's trying to touch my butt. But what are you doing? No, no, the stone, the stone. Are you all confused between two black things? We are talking about the black stone. Do we have any Muslim? Is that really a religion? And when you ask their scholar, Yasser Qadi, he claimed to be one. I believe there's not even single one of you is a scholar. How you can be a scholar of something nobody, I mean, how you can be a scholar in Islam when Islam is a shish kebab, hummus, falafel, mixed with a mixer and only, not, only Allah knows what is inside the mixer. If you remember once we went I, I, I was in a Muslim website and I posted a recording you know I, I was recording my screen I asked the Muhammadan uh, I have a question you know I think the site was called like convert to Islam something uh, why the Prophet he kissed the black stone they said uh, it took him five minutes minute to answer and they said uh, uh, you know uh, because the black stone is holy and then I asked when well, why the black stone is holy took them another five or seven minutes 
And then they answer back saying, because he kissed it. <laughs> why he kissed it? Because it's holy. And why it's holy? Because he kissed it. So it's a pagan city cult have zero respect even to the value of God. They associate a man, his name is Muhammad, even the name Muhammad is not the real name of Muhammad. Qatham is his real name. And they, Muhammad, he changed it to be the praised one. So if Muhammad is the praised one, who is Allah? Just ask yourself a very simple question. Each time the Muslim they say Muhammad, they are talking about God. They are not talking about a man because he is the praised one. My Skype is open. If there is any Abdul is willing to join us, please feel free. Now, we go back to the question of this gentleman, which I really, I like his question because this question give us a good exploration uh, or explore to the stupidity of the logic the Muhammadan he they have by copy paste this is what they learn in their schools teaching them against Christianity that we are pagan and we are people who worship many gods and we change our book etc so look what he said it is not written by Jesus not uh, 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 it's, it's not written by Jesus but by John and Matthew and Mark who is a Muslim can tell me the Quran is written by who Any Muslim? Do you Muslims have the Quran written by Muhammad? And the Quran is written, even it's written by Muhammad, which is not. And nobody actually knows who wrote the Quran. There's no written Quran, because the Muslims, they never have a written Quran. You see, if you have any Arabic Quran, anyone who speak Arabic or if you don't speak Arabic, you can use Google Translation. There's a page that's called page A. Page A. You can scan it with your Google Translation app or Apple. And you will read that this Quran is written according to the recitation of Hafs ibn Asim. Ibn etc. Ibn etc. The son etc. According to, 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 according to Uthman, according to Prophet Muhammad. Recitation, not written. They don't have a book. Recitation, according to a recitation. So what is the book? And when a Christian in San Diego, and I, I think all of you saw the video, he challenged the Muslim, he said, $5,000 if you can show me the Quran of Uthman. And Egypt Abdul, his name is Uthman too, he came to him and he have a book in his hand and he decided to show him the Quran. This is the Quran. And then in the same book, it says, there is no way that this is the book of Uthman. The same book he, he brought in his hand. What we have here is a representation of Allah meaning. You know, uh, MH, I don't know, are you serious? Are you a Muslim, my friend? Why you don't call me in Skype so we can understand what you are saying? Because what you are saying here, it sounds like Muhammad making Quran. It doesn't make any sense. Look what this uh, gentleman, he said. Real Quran is with Allah. Hmm. Solve the problem. Here we go. The problem is solved. Real Quran, brother, is with Allah. So what we have with you? What we have here is a representation of Allah. Let me open PowerPoint of Allah. Of Allah meaning that deep. And as long as you have representation of Allah meaning, so why you claim that you have the book of Allah? Secondly, as long as you are saying representation of Allah me <coughs> meaning, <coughs> Sorry, let me drink. <coughs> uh, 
I, I drank coffee and little things stuck in my throat. Thank you, Lord. So as long you have a representation of Allah meaning, then why you have all the interpretation of Allah meaning? And if we ask you, can you explain any verse for us in the Quran? You will say to us, only Allah knows. So what you are saying to us, that Allah presentation is a big failure. And what you confirm to us, that you don't have the real Quran, the real Quran is with Allah. And why Allah want to keep the real copy? He don't give you another copy. Who is a Muslim agree with this statement? Anyone? Same time, if we go to the so-called Quran, we will find the Quran saying the following, that it's not for the Muslim to write Quran or to make a book. The Quran says that. It is haram. Chapter 75, verse number 17, it says, it is on us. And look what the Muslim, they add, they, you know, like, you know, they add to you, Muhammad. Nowhere in the verse, by the way, it says, give it to you. Nowhere. And look how funny is the Muslim translation. In the, in the, in the left side, the Arabic, it's only four words. Four words. The translation is 50. I mean, isn't it a magical that Muslim translating four words to become this long line? It's just four words. It looks like the words of Allah, they grow and they have leaves and branches when they translate. So they add things is not there. You change the translator, you will find a new Quran. This is Hilali and Khan. Let us see another idiot. Uh... Uh, let us see uh, what uh, what this guy Maududi Dudi. Let us see who said Dudi. How are you, Dudi? Dudi is the best. Forget about the rest. Surely it is for us to have you commit it to memory. What? 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 Surely, sh surely it is for us to have you commit it to memory. This is what the Quran is saying. You can take those four words in Arabic and paste it in Google translation. It is on us to collect it. It is on us to read it. On us, Allah. And here I'm not going to ask you why Allah keeps saying us because this is a different story, which is more funny. Look like Allah himself, he don't like to be monotheist. He like to be polytheist. He don't feel secure with being one. He feel better when he is many. So he keeps saying us. And the Muslim, they say, oh, because this is like making him majestic. So Allah, he used fake word with fake meaning to have a fake uh, uh, like attitude or fake uh, 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 a title. Sahih International. Indeed upon us is the collection. The Muslim, they add now in your heart. Look, what the heck is that? Allah, he said, it is on us to collect the Quran. The Muslim, they put between two brackets in your heart. Allah was collecting the Quran from the heart of the Muslims. Are you sure not from the kidney? I thought Allah already have the Quran. It turned to be that Allah don't have the Quran. Allah is going to collect the Quran in your heart. And then to make it possible, look at the look at the bracket. Those bracket is, is, is really something. To make it possible, it is recitation. Why is it impossible? I mean, did you give them a Chinese language and they are Arab?
So Allah, he promised, and you can change translation as much as you want. All of them, they are a bunch of liars, idiots. They have no dignity. They are the one who changed their book. Look, we changed the translator. We shall be, look what happened. We just changed the translator. Who is this guy? Sarwar, Muhammad Sarwar, peace be upon him. Muhammad Sarawar is more decent than the other one in this translation, he says. We shall be responsible for its collection and it is recitation. This is the only correct translation until now. Very simple. Who is the one responsible for the collecting the Quran? Muhammad is in front of you. Who is the one is responsible for collecting the Quran? Allah. So you, when you collect the Quran, you disobey Allah. It's in the front of you. I did not make any things up. Allah, he gave a false promise. If you read the verse by for it, by the way, you will see something very funny. Look at this verse before. Have you ever heard of such a statement from God? Hey, Habibi Muhammad, don't uh, move your tongue fast, Muhammad, when you recite the Quran, okay, Muhammad? Hold on. The Muslim, they say that this book is written before even time is exist. This book is in heaven. If you read this verse alone, what do you understand? What, what, what any Muslim can tell me? Don't go to the interpretation for now. You just tell me what you see from now. Anyone? According to the interpretation, Muhammad, he started reading the Quran so fast. Why? Because he want to memorize the Quran. And the verse before it, after it, prove it. So Muhammad he says, Bismillah ar-Rahim, Bismillah ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah 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 ar-Rahim,
So the father of the cat narrated that the prophet said, if a house fly falls in the drink of any of you, he should dip it and drink it. Good for you, brother. I'm so happy for you. Your health is strong. No wonder. I mean, you are eating flies every day. And now you are saying to me, I will use your logic. So when uh, 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 one of the companions of Muhammad, he caught what Muhammad said. According to you, he is replacing Muhammad. This is your logic. So now if I was with Jesus and Jesus said something, and then I say Jesus said, and that guy said, I'm replacing Jesus. This is your logic. Somebody is saying to me, when you speak in Arabic, what word do you use for God? We use many words. There is Ilah, there is Rabb, uh, Rabbi, uh, Khaliq. There is tons of words. But Allah is not my God. So don't be silly. Said if a house, so now I'm replacing Muhammad because I'm quoting what Muhammad said. In fact, you Muslims, when you make the Quran, when you recite the Quran, you are quoting Allah. Are you replacing Allah? Because based on your logic, the one who quote somebody, he is replacing God. Now, the Christians, when they read, let us say, and you, you said here, uh, 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 the book according to John, to Mark, to Luke, etc., and Paul, and when, you, when a Muslim, he says, well, Jesus is the word of God. I like it when a Muslim, he says that, because he just admitted that Muhammad is not. Hey, Muslims, is Muhammad the word of God? Every single Muhammadan agree that Muhammad is not. Okay, wonderful. So Jesus have something special about him. He is the word of God. All other messengers, they deliver word of God. They have just a message. In the case of Jesus, he is the message. And he is the messenger. But to be the message and the messenger, you have to be the originator of the message. You have to be God. Because the word of God is coming from where? Oh, I forgot I should not ask such a question for the Muhammad and they have no idea. Do you see this simple question? That will put all of Islam in, 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 the, in the trembling uh, container. Shaky, shaky. Hey Muslims, where is the word of God coming from? You believe it or not, the Muhammadan, they do not know where the word is God, of God coming from. Not only that, they believe that the word of God is not a created. Okay. The word of God is not a created. Wonderful. So, Jesus is not created. <laughs> You can search right now in Google, Prophet Google, peace be upon him. Trust me, if Muhammad exists in the time of Google, he will claim that Google is coming from Allah. And he will, Huri Buter is his messenger. If Muhammad, he watched the Hobbit movie, he will make a chapter, it's called The Hobbit. All the fiction stories was exist in the time of Muhammad, we find them in the Quran. So Muhammad he just came in the wrong time. Otherwise, he would have billions of chapters. The Holy Buddha chapter, the Hobbit chapter, the Lord of the Ring. And by the way, the Lord of the Ring is a Muhammad book. Muhammad, he believed that Suleiman, he have a ring, controlled the whole world, controlled the genie. I want to get a world on a ring like this. Man, I'm sick of it. Each time I ask a girl to marry me, she said, no way. If I have a ring like this, I will have no problem. Finally, she will not even see how I look like. She would Im immediately agree. Because I have the ring. 
and the, the second you wear the ring, you became the king. And then Suleiman, he went to the bathroom and he gave the ring to his wife. Suleiman, why you do that? Why you give the key of your power to your wife when you are going to the bathroom? The Muslim, they have an answer. You cannot take the ring of Allah to the bathroom, brother. Oh, no. What will happen to the ring if we take it to the bathroom? It's going to lose its power? Are you saying to me that the power of Allah can be dissolved by shit? Excuse my language. So Suleiman, he go to the bathroom, and I'm just trying to understand the Muslims when the Muslims speak, try to speak smart. A Muslim who try to speak smart is being smart. I mean, what you can say? He's a smart Muslim. But how you can be a smart Muslim? The Lord of the Ring is written, written, uh, written by Tolkien, who is inspired by Catholicism. You are just an idiot. What does this have to do with, what the Lord of the Ring have to do with Catholic now? Here we go. Let us blame the Jews. Just take a hike, Jada. In order for you to be inspired by anyone, you have to have a belief in your belief that you believe that there's a ring control the world. Do the Catholics have such a belief? Copy paste people. Don't get married. Your husband will leave you second day. So this is your prophet saying as an example, and this is the story, by the way, it's a reliable sources. Sulaiman army was 100 percentage, 305, sorry, 3,500 miles long. I mean, this is even bigger than my army. An army. 300, 3,500 miles long? What about the width? Maybe he put them like one after one, like the ants, you know? 3,500, are you sure? And then the Muslim, they have their belief, the like Quran saying that the army of, of Suleiman have a, Chicken, birds, genie, which is Satan, and a human. Look how they match together. Satan and chickens and a human. The best cartoon movie ever. 25 percentage were a human. 25 percentage is a genie, which means shaitan. 25 percentage Desert animals. What the heck is that? Is that including lizard? No way, brother. Lizard is the enemy of Allah. 25% birds. And this Abdul is trying to speak logic with us. And he want to teach you how to think and how to use your brain. 1,000 house of glass. I like to have houses of glass. I mean, glass was very popular at that time. Yeah, I mean, Suleiman, why he want to build a house? Actually, Suleiman, he liked to have a house from a glass so everybody can see him through the walls having boom, boom. Very, he's a, he's a very transparent person. 1,000 house of a glass where he have, who made above the wood, in glass above the wood, in them, there's a 300 wives. But like, what the heck with this calculation? Why 1,000 houses when you have a 300 wives? Oh, hold on. Don't stop here. And 700 slave girls. Ah, now we know why 1,000 house lived. Suleiman used to order a strong wind to lift the house and order the soft wind to move the house slowly. Look at the logic slowly because if the wind is strong, the house might collapse, brother. Come on. So now, uh, Muslim they believe in a flying carpet, and the guy he have a 300, 3,500 soldiers, all of them they are in the top of the carpet. And the Muhammadan they are coming to us trying to, like, let us say, be logical, you know, like, let us use logic. A Muhammadan is logical.
uh, Jada, you are not welcome here. Anyone here, he come to attack any Christian church, we will fart at you and we will consider you a person of the devil. Only the devil he'd like and he love to divide the Christians. We are a Christian. We don't believe in anything called Protestant or Catholic or Orthodox. Christians are those who follow Jesus. You can go to churches, whatever their names, doesn't change anything. The question is, who is your God? Who is your Lord? Who is your Savior? So anyone want to come here, admins, don't hesitate. Anyone he tried to divide the Christians, step on him. Send him free shipping and hand it into Allah. You got my permission. There was no even need for warning. So Suleiman used to order a strong wind to lift his house, the flying carpet. And then therefore revealed to him in the Quran that when he was between the heaven and the earth, I have increased your kingship, Allah said to him, in such a way that if not, if, if anybody speak in any part of your kingdom, the wind will make his conversation reach to you. Brother, Suleiman not only have the biggest army, the biggest flying carpet, the ring controlling sex drives, controlling genie. No. If you fought at home, Suleiman, he can hear it, even if you live in America. Anyone he say anything. Suleiman, he, I feel sorry for you, Suleiman, because I mean, can you imagine hearing everybody? I mean, you will go, you will go crazy. Imagine, imagine now I can hear all my neighbors, just my neighbors talking in the same time. Not the whole world, just a few neighbors. That will destroy you. Is that a blessing or this is stupid? And the Muhammadan is coming to speak about logic. Narrated that Suleiman traveled in a movable equipment, brother. He used to take it, take along, along his household, the guy don't go alone, his wives, his slaves, his cook, his servants, everybody, his army too, and his servant, and his accountant, and his scribes, and he used to sit in, in, in uh, uh, they, they used to sit, look, look, they used to sit in the roof next to each other. Where? Where, where, where they sit? On the roof? This guy who have a kingdom and he have an army of 3,500 3, miles long. They sit on the roof? Brother, don't you think you Muslims are a little bit exaggerating? I think they sit in the balcony. There's no way in the roof, brother. Why? They are chicken. They are roosters. What do you mean in the roof? How the roof can handle this weight and the house is made from glass? What kind of a glass can carry all these numbers? Millions of soldiers. And not only that, they sit next to each other at one corner. Look, 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 the other corners are empty. There's still vacancies. Take a note, please. If you want to sit in the other corner, we have a lot of vacancies. The whole world now is sitting in one corner of the roof. And then if you read the rest of the stories, you will die laughing. It's really horrible. Let us go back to the question. By the way, if there's any Muslim would like to join us, feel free. My Skype is open. So if somebody, he caught what Jesus said, according to you, he's replacing Jesus, that's mean you Muslims replace Allah and Muhammad replace Allah because Muhammad is quoting Allah. The Quran of it, all of it supposedly, you are quoting Allah. Oh, hold on. Have you ever heard of a God He caught an ant.
You know, the Muslims, they say that the Quran is the word of Allah and nobody can make Quran. But when we go to the Quran, you will find that the one make the Quran is an ant. As an example, not necessarily, chapter 27, verse number 18. You can read the verses before it because they are funny, you know. Look at this. Suleiman became the higher, become the higher of day to David. He said, people, we have been taught the language of the birds and we have been granted share of everything, everything. That is a big statement. This is indeed is the manifest, the favor from Allah. Solomon's army consists, look, look, Allah talking, consists of a human being, jinn and bird. You will notice in the story, they added like a, another, like the animal of the desert. Here it says only human being, genie and bird. And we are gathered together in his person, persons in ranks. Look how organized the army. Somebody talked to Putin. No wonder you are not winning. You need an army like this. You need an army containing one-third human, one-third shaitan, and one-third the chicken. And I will tell you how the chicken can help you to win the victory. You attack the enemy, the enemy are hungry. They will be busy eating chicken and killing chickens. And then you shoot them. Perfect plan. And then you continue saying, when they arrive to the value of the ants, one ant said, who, what? Let me go back to the question this guy, he said. He said that Mark and John and Luke and Paul, are they the word of God? Are they replacing Jesus? Why? Because they are quoting Jesus. So are you saying to me that when Allah, he caught an ant, one of the ants she said, God, he is quoting an ant. Quoting who? An ant, which is scientifically false because ants are deaf and they are blind. They can't even hear. They don't talk. They are blind in their hearing, they are blind in their mouth, which means they, they, they don't have a mouth to talk with it. You know, they, they communicate by vibration or chemical, that's all. So one of the ants, she said, enter your dwelling, lest you be carelessly crushed by Solomon army. If you remember, Allah, he just said that Suleiman said, so Allah is quoting Solomon now. Solomon become the higher of David, and he said, Allah quoting Solomon. So Solomon making Quran. We have been taught the language of the birds, but less than two foot after, we will find that Suleiman, he understand the language of ants. Listen carefully. Allah, he taught Solomon the language of the birds. The language of who? I mean, the verse is so clear. He had been taught the language of the birds, not the language of dogs, monkeys, junkies, whatever. No, birds, that's it. He kept going in the highway. He arrived to California in the valley of the ants. One of the ants, she said, and I love it, that only one of the ants, she said that. Because this is the end, she is speaking in the name of Joe Biden. Like, come on, every kingdom, they have one spoke person. We know that. 
So the Speaker of the House, one of the ends she said, enter your dwelling, and I love it when it says she said. She said, in Arabic it says, قالت. But ends on talk, let it go. Enter your dwelling list, you be carelessly crushed by cinnamon. And what is really making me amused by this story is how the end she knew the name of Solomon. You see, I know I'm very famous, but I cannot believe that one day that ants will know about me. Imagine I'm walking down street and one of the ants, she said to the other ants, be careful. Christian Prince is coming. He is going to step on you. This guy is an idiot. He walk blindly. Don't you see what he do with the Abdul? Hide. How she know his name? And now, as long as you are a person who have logic, I will give you three options to choose how she found out the name of Solomon. She is inspired by Allah. Or she is a messenger of Allah, or she was in the face page book of Solomon, a subscriber. The end she knew the name of Solomon. And then Solomon, very logical story, he smiled at the end remarks and he said, Thank you, Allah. Thank you, Allah. Lord, inspire me to thank you for your favor upon me and my parents and act righteously so as you please admit me by your mercy. Suleiman, now he felt so grateful. Look, brother, I went to school. I learned the language of the birds, but now I understand the language of the ants. Look like Solomon, he entered the wrong classroom. It's called birds class but when he went inside the teacher was opening the wrong book today we will teach you how to speak and learn the language of the ants page number one how the ants she say yummy yummy so a muslim is speaking about logic i mean what is your logic muslim why your logic only wake up when you question christianity what is the purpose of this story? And how Allah, he is making Quran when he is quoting Suleiman, he is quoting the ant, he is quoting the bird, he is quoting the chicken. Who is the one who made the Quran? And by the way, according to the Hadith, Suleiman, he ordered the arrest of the ant. What the heck? He told his soldiers to bring the ant to him. I want to know how he was able to find which one. I mean, listen, he heard the ant, which is impossible because even ant don't talk, they are deaf. And now he's asking the ant, he's questioning the ant. He ordered his soldiers to bring the ant. How they were able to find which to find which one? I mean, do you think this ant she dressed differently? A Muslim speaking logic. How hypocrite! Let me see if I can find the, the arrest of the ant in this uh, page here. Hold on, give me a second. What is the ant? Is the ant is here? The ant is here. We are trying to find the ant. Uh, here we go. We found the story of the ant. Ali ibn Ibrahim have narrated that when the wind raised the throne of Ibrahim. Look, look now, Ibrahim, he have a throne too. Yes, throne fly. And reached the field of the ants. 
What, what the heck? Ibrahim. From where silver and gold come out, now we know where silver and gold is coming from. They lie to us. It's coming from the land of the ants. Never listen to your government or your school teacher. This is where silver and gold is coming from. There is one value of Allah where silver and gold is grown. Man, Allah, he planted golden seeds and they give us golden fruits and they grow. He has a project protected it. Allah, he protected this valley. Nobody can go there. It was it it with it with it weakest creature like ants and if a powerful army want to enter cannot do so and Abdul is questioning logic And by the way, just to find you a solution for those stories, any story sound very embarrassment for them now, they will say, I oh, wouldn't accept it. That's it, we solve the problem. You see how easy? Eh, we fix it. We don't, this is Da'if. It's not, it's, it's not the Hadith of Da'if, it's you Da'if. You are weak, and now you feel that this is destroying your belief, and people are making fun of it, and you do not know what to say. According, look here, they will say to you the if, right? In the page in the front of us says, according to a reliable chain of narrators, narrated from, etc., that when the end conversed with others, the wind took their conversation to Solomon. The ant, brother, she is not even speaking loud. But you cannot hide anything from Suleiman. Because the wind, she made a mistake. She spoke when one of the ants was breaking winds. And right away, the wind carried the conversation to Suleiman. So she that took their conversation to Suleiman. And here it says their conversation. The Quran says only one. At the time when he was in the air, unbelievable. So the man is now is a flying. So how he will crush the hold on Muslims? How the end she is saying to them, so the man will crush you if the guy is even flying. Hmm? How the Quran says, Suleiman will crush you. Have you ever heard of somebody will crush somebody stepping on him when he's flying? With his flying carpet? Suleiman asked the strong wind to stop. Stop! The wind like... Zzz, zzz, break. Stop! And the wind stopped. The flying carpet in the middle of the wind, in the middle of the sky. Very normal, by the way. Those things happen always, especially if you're a prophet of God. You know, you are flying, and you know you told the flying carpet stop. So what do you expect? The flying carpet will stop. What's wrong with you? Why it's hard to believe? What's wrong with people? Sixty minutes of winds. Stop! The time stop. The clock stop. The wind stop. Because Suleiman, he heard one of the ants. She is saying something very important. Suleiman will crush you, ants. The watch of Suleiman stop even working. 
Who is this aunt who said that? Suleiman said to himself. Why she said that? Suleiman said to himself. Is it possible there is a conspiracy against me? Suleiman said to himself. I need to investigate why she said that. Suleiman said to himself. So he said, stop. The black carpet, oh sorry, the flying carpet, stop. And he called out to the ant. Hey, ant, come here. I like it when Suleiman is so strong and so firm. Ant, hey, you. No, no, not this. Not, not, not. Stop moving. Your ants are a lot. You, you, no, like, not that. stupid. You. Sit down, not you. The one behind. No, no, not, not the one. Suleiman, he called the ant specifically. And he said to her, come here. And then Suleiman, he said to the ant, he said, don't you know that I am a prophet of Allah and I do not oppress anybody? Yeah, Muslim, they don't oppress anybody. Come on, no way. He's a, he's a Muslim prophet, he not oppress. He just kill, rape, you know, but he don't oppress. And said, yes, prophet of Allah, I know you are Suleiman. Then he said, why you all scare others or from me and order them to enter their holes? Oh, please don't mention the word holes. Sorry, man, you are going to hurt the feet of the Muslims. I mean, why you do that? From all the words in the dictionary, why you choose the word holes? What is your brain? It's not right. I apologize from the Muslims if we hurt your feeling by using the word holes. Please just bury that hole. So Suleiman, brother, he asked the ant, why you are scaring everybody of me? Don't you know I'm a prophet of Allah? I don't oppress. The Suleiman question makes sense. But the ant, brother, the ant, obviously she attend a lot of my videos. And she have a good logic. So look what she said. The ant said, I was scared <clears throat> that when their vision falls on you, they will become fascinated at the beauty of this world. The ant flirting with the Prophet of Allah, Suleiman. He is so pretty. He looks so good. It's not your fault, Prophet. The ant, she said to him. No, 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 you got me wrong. I told them to have shelter because I don't want them to see you. If they see you, they will lose it. They will abuse it. The ants, they might even start touching themselves in a form of a sexual contact. I mean, she is an ant. She knew her families and her tribe and her kingdom. She is a psycho ant. So she don't want them to be tempted by you, Suleiman. Then the ant asked Suleiman, who is more honorable? Look at the conversation, brother. Guys, I want to go to the, my yard. I see if I can find one ant she can speak to me for the sake of Allah. Just one ant, man. This is must be the Aflatone ant 
of the ants, a philosopher ant. Look at the deep question. Who is more honorable? You or your father, Dawood? Suleiman said. My father is much more esteemed and honorable than me. And said, Then why is it so that your name has one more alphabet than your father's name? <laughs> I got you busted. I got you busted. Tick it, tick it, tick it, tick it. Look, look at this conversation, brother. What the heck? How you can debate such an ant? Let me let me let me close my Skype. I'm afraid this ant will call me. I mean that would be I don't know what to say to her. This ant is so smart. Suleiman, if your father is more important than you, he is more esteemed and honorable than you, then how come? Your name have one more letter than him. That's deep. That, that is. What is the name of Muhammad Zakir Naik? Well, Zakir Naik, his name is longer than uh, David. What about Shabir Ali? Hmm? What the heck was that? So if the name is longer, now you are more honorable? What the heck? This is, this is philosophy itself. This is where philosophy is coming from. And then the Abdul is a questioning our Bible, trying to be logical. So according to him, if the disciple who they accompany Jesus, they are quoting Jesus, they are replacing Jesus. And then he continue. Let us see how the knowledge, how knowledgeable this Christian prince is about his own religious scriptures. I don't know, brother. Are you sure you are not the ant in the story of Solomon? Because this is a very deep question. And look what you said here before you reach that point. The Christian then say that those who write the Bible are inspired by the Holy Spirit. Is the Holy Spirit the Word of God? Had he replaced Jesus? as the word of God that's deep let us go to the Quran so everybody will die laughing at you I will type in your stupid search engine yellow pages book the word Ar-Ruh Al-Qudus the Holy Spirit Chapter 2, verse number 87. Each time the word the Holy Spirit mentioned, it's about Jesus as a must. We gave Jesus, the son of Mary, clear sign and strength him with the Holy Spirit. Hmm. What? Why Jesus, he need the Holy Spirit based on you. Is the Holy Spirit is the Word of God? Okay, no, the Holy Spirit is not the Word of God, my friend. No, no, no. The Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit. So how the Holy Spirit is a string in giving strength to Jesus? Any Muslim can answer us? If Allah already gave him the signs, and now Allah he decided to strength Jesus by the Holy Spirit, so what the Holy Spirit did exactly? Any Mohammedan? <coughs> uh, 
Then in Muhammadan can tell us what exactly the Holy Spirit did. And look how silly, how stupid the Quran is. So Allah, he gave Jesus a clear signs. Clear. And we strengthen him with the Holy Spirit. And then what the Jews, they do? Is it that whenever they come to you, a messenger, with which what you yourself desire not you are buffed up with the bride and some ye called imposter and the others ye slay i will use the logic of the muhammadan the quran says if allah gave you victory nobody can overcome you to you which is a verse starting from the Old Testament. If the Lord is with me, nobody can be against me. Read and love. The Quran claiming that when Allah he made a promise, Allah he keep his promise. Did Allah make a promise to Jesus to be victorious against the Jews? Allah he failed his promises even with the Muslims. He promised them if one of you fight ten, he will win. They lost. They lost miserably. Then when they come back and they lost, they came to Muhammad. Right away, Muhammad, he heard the news that they lost. So Muhammad, he have a solution. He said, now Allah, he found out that you have a weakness. So now your task is lighting one against two. From one to 10 to one to two. So obviously the support of Allah have zero effect in victory. So when Allah, he supported Jesus, is his support for victory or to be a loser? In chapter 3, verse number 160 says, If Allah is your helper, no one can defeat you. Who was the helper of Jesus? Any Muslim can answer? According to you Muslims, Jesus was defeated. Why? Because his book is gone. I mean, this is the biggest de defeat because all the purpose of him to come, the most important one is to give a message from God, according to you. He's just a prophet. He's a messenger. According to you, and this is what the whole comment is about, that the book of Jesus is gone. So how Allah he supported Jesus by the Holy Spirit if the Quran says that if Allah supports somebody nobody can defeat that body Do we have any Muhammadan? Enter now zero Muslim in Skype So now you put your God in trouble. Allah, he promised that the one who Allah is in his side, no one can have victory against him. So where is the book of Jesus, which is the book of God? Any Muhammadan?
Anyone? Very simple question, they cannot answer. Not only that, there's other verse in the Quran saying clearly that nobody can change the word of Allah. Remember the Muslim, they say there is no contradiction in the Quran and the Quran cannot have contradiction, which is very funny to say. But as you see, this is a contradiction. Your claim contradict what the Quran says. The Quran says in many places, chapter 6, verse number 34, chapter 6, verse 115, chapter 10, verse number 64, chapter 18, verse number 27, Nobody can change the word of Allah. Nobody. No one can alter the word of Allah. So in one hand, the Muslim they claim that the Injil is given to Jesus from Allah. Even the Torah was given to Moses. In one hand, this is the book of Allah. But as you see, the Muslims are so desperate to prove to us that the book of Allah is changed. Well, if this is true, that is additional proof that Allah can't be God. For Allah, he promised that no one can change the word of Allah. And isn't it the Bible is the word of Allah? And actually, there's one of you, he made a good comment. And I put it in the top of the uh, the previous video. I did pin it there so everybody can read it. <clears throat> because the, the Christian who made this comment is, uh, you know, he made a, a smart comment, which is saying the same thing. If the word of Allah, nobody can change it. And if the gospel... is the word of Allah. That's mean you Muslims, you are accusing your God Allah that he cannot keep his promise. All the Quran have tons of verses saying nobody can change the words of Allah. None. Now the question is, is the Injil is the word of Allah according to Islam? The answer is, the Quran says, not only calling the book of Jesus book, no, the Quran choose a Greek word, which is telling us that your Quran is speaking about the book of John. All those verses we see. They are speaking about the Injil, the Injil, the Injil. Look how many verses. Injil, 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 Injil. All the Quran keeps saying Injil. In chapter 3, verse number 3, you will see the Muslim, they say something very weird in the translation. It says, he sent the book between two brackets, the Quran, to you, Muhammad, in all truth. It confirming the original Bible. Is that really what the Quran says in Arabic? In Arabic, it says, Musaddiqan lima bayna yadayhi, believing in what is between his hands. not the original or fake, what is between his hands. And he called it Torah and Gospel. So based in this scenario, the true Torah and the true Gospel is exist in the time of Muhammad. And this is a false translation. 
Let us see if we change the translator, if we will find a better result. Confirming what came before it, but this is not what the verse is saying. In Arabic it says, what is between his hands? Why the Muslim didn't want to, why they don't want to use the words between his hands? What is the problem exactly? Any Muslim can tell me? I will copy the part of the line where it says, مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ And I will paste in the front of your eyes. In Google Translation. Does it say what is between his hands? Uh, they are showing the, the Quran translation because this is exactly the Quran translation from the Muslims. Let us do this then. This is a false translation. I will use this. I will not add the valves, etc. So, so Google will not copy the Muslim translation. I will type it as it is. Musaddiqan. See? Confirming what is in his hands. I will make a screenshot for what I wrote because I know most of you don't speak Arabic. And I will put it next to the Quran so you can see if I add it, if I change anything because I know most of you don't speak Arabic. This is what I wrote. Let's see if we can make it. Do you see it? And this is what is in the Quran. What is between his hands? The reason they corrupt the book of their God and they took what it says, which it says, between his hand he believed. He believed in what is between his hand, which is the gospel. Because if they say between his hands, that means he have the original book. Not only they have it, he have it. It is between his hands. And if Muhammad he have the original gospel, then why Muhammad don't publish the original gospel? And why the Muslim don't have the original gospel? Are you hiding it? They are corrupt. They are liars. However, there is other places in the Quran which get the Muhammadan busted. Chapter 2, as an example, verse number 89, chapter 2, verse number 91, chapter 2, verse 101, and there is many other chapters. What it does say? And when the scriptures come to them from Allah, confirming what they have. Different translation. Community God? There's a translation called Community God? Okay. Confirming what they have. Different translation. Hilali Khan. Confirming what is with them between two bracket. Torah and Injil. But remember, the only Christian, the only thing the Christian they have between their hands is what Paul, John, Mark, Luke, they said.
the fourth gospel, the book of Acts, etc. 27 books. But the Quran confirmed it 600 years after Jesus. Not six years, not 60. And now we need to ask ourselves how he can confirm what is with them if what is with them is the books of those disciples. If you say to me, no, this is not the book of those disciples, the Quran says the word Injil, as you see in the front of you. Injil. What is Injil? First of all, you Muslim, you claim that Allah, he sent Jesus only to the Jews. So how come his book is Injil, which is a Greek? Have you ever heard somebody, his book, he speak the Hebrew and you believe that Allah never sent the messenger to any nation except in their own language. So in order for Jesus to be a messenger for the Hebrew, his book have to be in Hebrew. And this is your Quran saying that, not me. Chapter 14, verse number 4, Allah, he said, Aka Muhammad, we send not a messenger except between two brackets to teach in the language of his own people in order to make things clear to them. So the logic of Muhammad here, this is a very smart logic, by the way, very good, very good. But this logic is against the one who said the logic. How Muhammad now is a prophet for Indonesia. How Muhammad is a prophet to Germany, to China. When the Quran says that Allah never sent a messenger and he sent this message when Muhammad is already a prophet. This is a message delivered to Muhammad. So Muhammad already is a prophet and Allah confirmed, I never sent the messenger except in the tongue of his own people. So Muhammad, the Quran confirmed, he was only sent to his own people. Because if I don't send him to his own people only, the message will not be clear. Why? Because he have to be one of them. So he understand their culture, their language, and he have to deliver the message in their tongue. And the verse in the front of you. Do we have any Mohammedan? And now, as long as you mention that the disciple of Jesus, let me go back to the message, but we will go. As long as you mention the disciple of Jesus, don't you know, Muslims, that those disciples are mentioned in the Quran? And not only they are considered as a messenger of God, sent by God. If you go to the chapter Yasin, which is a proven Islam to be, Worshipping the moon god because Ya Sin, Sin is the moon god, Ya is a word meaning God. And until now, every Muslim he give you his own interpretation for this verse because Muhammad is stealing words from other religion. Ya Sin, God Sin. By the Quran, God Sin, the moon god, you can search right now in Google, the moon god Sin, just type it. Yeah, is a word mean God? God sin, he swear by the Quran. But God sin, suddenly he claim that the one who sent by Jesus, they are sent by him. Our friend in the comment, he said, that Paul, he did not even meet Jesus. His Quran says, 
that Paul was sent by Jesus. If you go open Ibn Kathir or al baghawi or any tafsir, you will find that the three messengers are John, Peter, and Paul. And they were sent to the city of Antioch. I challenge the Muslims to tell me that it's not true. Who are they, those three messengers? You can go right now and open the interpretation you wish, including Ibn Kathir. And now you will see those silly Muslims, they say, this is what uh, one of the companion he said, this is not true. And this is hadith is da'if. And the Christian believe in that. Hmm. The Christian believe in that. The Christians are the one who explain for you a verse in the Quran. This is Quran. And this is Ibn Kathir. Three messengers, who they are, who are they? Hold on, looks like we open. Here we go. Read carefully with me. Ibn Ishaq reported that there was a city of Antioch. I do not need to continue anymore. That's it. We know the story now. <laughs> the city of Antioch. Those are, is it Jesus who went to the city of Antioch? Your Quran confirmed that there are three messengers. And the funny here, the Muslim in this, in the first, in the page, they give them three names. Sadiq, Saduk, very funny name, Sad, Sadiq, which means truthful, Saduk, which means truthful, and Shalom. <laughs> and then if you go down a little bit, you will see it says, we sent to them two messengers, they hastened to believe in them. So we send them the third, so we enforce them with the third one. Who is this third one? Read carefully. We supported and stringed them with the third messenger, Ibn Juraj, the companion of your false prophet. He said, narrated from Wahab Ibn Sulaiman, uh, uh, companion of the companion of the companions. The name of the first two messengers were Shamaun, Simon, and Yohanna, which means John. And the name of the third is Bulos, which means Paul. And the city was Antioch. Remember the Abdul, he is denying how we can accept the disciple of Jesus to speak of Jesus. Are they replacing the Holy Spirit? Are they replacing the Word of God? Are they replacing God? And then we find that his Quran saying that the messenger of Jesus are messengers of God. And not only that, according to the Quran, Paul and John and Simon Peter they did amazing miracles. They asked them to do extreme hard miracles. Nobody can do to prove who they are. And they did.
And as long we confirm, even from the cult of Muhammad, that Peter and John and Paul, they are messenger of God. And not only, by the way, even your book says that Paul, he saw Jesus. And Jesus appeared to him in the gate of Damascus. This is in your books. And not only that, Paul, he turned to, to, to be blind. And then he repented and he asked Jesus for forgiveness. This is in your books. And now as long we have even from your books evidence that the disciples of Jesus are messengers of God, then Jesus must be their God because I cannot make you a messenger of God if I am just a messenger. A messenger, he have no authority to do an act of God. To make you a messenger. If I am a messenger, I cannot make you a messenger. Very simple. God have to make you a messenger, not me. And the Quran says, and when we send to them two messengers, so the Quran claiming that the one who sent Simon Peter and John is Allah. See what happened to Muhammad when he steal information from other belief? He got himself busted. And now we have five fingers over the ass of your prophet. And this is what make Muslims angry because we use their own books to get them busted. If I try now to quote reference from the Bible from now until the coming century, the Muslim will say to me, eh, you know, we don't believe in your book anyway. It's corrupted. But now what he can say? Can he deny? Yeah, he will go, he will deny, he will go in denial. Because Muhammadan are number one people in denial. They have no problem to believe in fairy tale story that Suleiman is a questioning ant and investigating the ant and the ant she found that Suleiman he have one letter more than in his name so he must be more glorious. They have no problem that Suleiman have a flying car but can carry all his army. They have no problem that the Prophet of Allah received a dish of shish kebab and he got the power of 40 men in bedroom. Which I am jealous now because I have the power of 30 men and the half. And the first time I heard this story about 40 men, I said to myself, how the Muslim they measure the power of Muhammad? Private part. Did they like have a competition in the city? They brought Muhammad and they brought many men and everybody started doing boom boom. And then Muhammad is the only one who was able to do 40 men power. How you come to this conclusion? Why 40? What about 41? You will notice that always Muhammad, he stuck with 40, 70, 3. There's certain numbers, wherever you go, you cannot get out of them. If I go right now and I type in the hadith, the word 40 Al Hassan was asked about the neighbor and said term neighbor include 40 houses <laughs> the right the left 40 horses that's it 40 horses this is the whole town my idiot okay uh let us see the 40. This is just 40. But let us find something useful with 40. Hold on, give me a second. Your prophet is the only one who discover that you will stay inside your mother as a sperm for 40 days, which is true. 
I wish those days come back, laying down inside my mother womb as a seaman, vacation time, watching movies, eating corn, you know, she eat phrase, I eat phrase, I do nothing. 40 days as seaman and 40 days as a clot and 40 days as a piece of meat. And now you are baby now. This is the science of a prophet 40. And not only that, the prophet here received his religion at the age of 40. What a coincidence. When Muhammad became a prophet, he was 40. How Allah created us? 40 days you will be a seaman. But why Google says you can be only five days alive inside the woman? How we are for 40 days as a seaman? I cannot put semen anywhere. You cannot, don't put your semen in the floor or somewhere. They will grow. You come second day, you will find a piece of a piece of piece of a clot blood. The prophet science with number 40 is much connected. Now imagine, by the way, if scientists discover that semen can live for 40 days, what do you know? What, what do you think the Muslim would do about this hadith? Honestly, what do you think? They will post it everywhere. They will speak about it everywhere. But now they bury it. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. Imagine if science agree Mr. 40, Alibaba and the 40 thieves. You've been served and got busted.